All right, we are on Kitsap Way, and if you remember this, we could take this all the way down to uh, the 303, which is that road that has three names, Waga, Wheaton, and War Warren Way. Uh, and we're, we're really not too far from uh, Montgomery here. So we're gonna pass Callow, and then the very next street is um, Montgomery. This is our house, and um, I'd almost consider the location to be walking distance to, to some stuff. Um, you do have some multifamily housing here, and obviously the backside of some of the businesses. Um, so I would say it's not as nice a neighborhood as what we had when we were on 17th. Right in front of the house here, you have this uh, front retaining wall, so your property is raised up a little bit. Uh, big, huge trees in front. <clears throat> Street view. Go up. Really, everything here is, is adorable. Looks like they put in new grass. Um, neighbor here looks like it has a pretty decent yard. I'm going to say we have everything new. It looks like new trim, um, fireplace, of course not new, but everything looks in really good shape. This is, it's really a really cute house inside, um, but you can see, you know, you look out to the businesses. So that may be a little bit why we've had this on the market for a while. Wood burning fireplace here. Um, I would imagine they uncovered, you know, the flooring that was here. They, they may have done some interior remodeling, I, I don't know, but uh, really, really super cute. This is all definitely, uh, you know, real wood flooring, these nice built-ins, so living room, um, formal dining room, and this is a uh, real tile flooring. We definitely have some original windows here. You know, personally, I wouldn't want to do anything with those. Um, so I don't see them as a, as a deficit. Um, on the first floor, we have one nice size bedroom. And this looks out to the back backyard area, um, our back parking pad. They've created a walk-in closet here. And it's your en suite. Put some linen shelves there. And... Uh, the master bath, double vanity, this all beautiful tile work, nice built-ins, uh, walk-in shower, it's gorgeous, commode. So, uh, this floor is a little different. This looks like a wood laminate, but uh, in here we have the original. Um, they did an amazing job on the kitchen. You have beautiful granite, beautiful granite. Undermount sinks, beautiful, beautiful cabinets. They look maple to me, but just absolutely gorgeous. Um, just neat little features that were original. I, I bet they had an ironing board there at one time. They pulled out the ironing board, put that glass in, and created this spice area. Nice built in hutch. Uh, I'll go upstairs in a minute. So back here we have another bath, and this also has the double vanity, um, tub with a shower combination, beautiful tile walls again, another nice built-in area, but um, that feels like marble or granite, granite. Back down this hallway, washer-dryer connection. Um, space is a little small, so you know, it looks like a side-by-side, -side, but you may need a little smaller footprint. That hatch door to the crawl space. And 
that um, family room uh, for the kitchen. This big patio in the back. We've got apartments right next door, <laughs> but um, very, very nice. Detached garage. We'll go in and check that out in just a moment. Okay, um, the family room here off of the kitchen. We have another fireplace. It looks to me like we have a, a wood burning fireplace here as well. Looks like they've put in some um, wiring for television here. These great doors out to that patio. <laughs> Somebody had a great time at this house. This is just a really cool house. Okay, so we have two bedrooms on the main floor with the two baths, one in the hallway there and um, one here. Nope, I, I said that wrong. This is the second full bath, then we have two bedrooms upstairs and then that master bath downstairs. So we're gonna go up the stairs. Now I'll be the first one to tell you this is a tight access point. So I don't know what kind of furniture could easily fit up here. Um, I'm thinking something very, very flexible, like futon. But this is a one room, a very cool office. This is ideal for IKEA furniture. It's like, build it once you get up here. And then there's this little hutch here, and then um, another room. Not super tall ceilings, you're probably just at uh, seven foot, but you know, what I would anticipate for um, a house of this, this age. But very, very cool. So we'll go outside and check out the uh, garage. All right, just a little storage shed off of the garage. And then um, it is a detached garage. Oh golly, okay, well it has a padlock and there wasn't a um, padlock key in there, but another little storage area. And come around this way. And this is like an old carriage house, for goodness sakes. So, alley access. That is Kitsap Way. You can see your neighbor. Neighbor takes nice care of their house, very neat. Uh, but definitely around commercial. Cute street up there, you know. I don't know, John, this is pretty sweet. One more blast around this cool patio. Tell you what, if Jim and I were in the market, this would be something we would strongly consider. This is a super, super cute house. 